is going on my super sandwiches rhymes out here and today brings my dragon ball legends content and today i'm going to be focusing on a guide to maxing out the units the fastest way possible in the game i'm talking about from level 1 to 1500 from 0% to 398 percent quick disclaimer if they end up going beyond that which they most likely will at some point this is no video obviously because as of today when i'm recording this video on november 30th 2018 the max you can get is level 1500 for unit at 398 percent so, what do you need? Well, if you can follow me on social media and if you've also watched my videos on Legends, you'll probably notice that the second I pull a unit within an hour, I already have a maxed out completely. What is the secret? I see so many people that tweet me and I always, uh, are always like, it takes me like five days to max out a unit. What am I doing wrong? Well, here's the deal. So, you need three things to train, obviously. Well, four, really. Fourth being the actual character. So, let's say theoretically, I just pull Lord Shield, he's level one. What do I do? Well, I need three things. Number one, Zenny. As you can see, I have 45 million Zenny at the top of the screen, which uh, I'll show you how to get that so fast. That looks like a large amount, but it's actually not that much of an amount. Two, you need souls. If I go into my item sections and souls, ta-da, look at all those souls. Are you hacking the game, Rhyme? How are you getting all these souls? What is the secret? Again, I'll get to that in a second. And three, finally, you also need training material, which is, this is the part where it gets kind of annoying, and I'll explain why in a second. So first things first, let's talk about the actual Zenny. So, the big secret to get in Zenny is you have two options. Number one, if you go into the story mode section right here, it's not available right now because it's only a weekend thing. On the weekend, they have a bonus battle Super Zenny event. I believe it's every Sunday, if not Saturday. Whenever you beat that Cyberman, which takes literally like two seconds to do, you get anywhere between like 250,000 Zenny to, to a million Zenny, depending on how lucky you are. That is a good way to get Zenny. Number two, if we go into the menu section back over here, and let's say go to characters and let's do equipment. If you've been doing missions, you probably have a lot of equipment that you don't need. So what I usually do is I'll filter everything out that's like bad. So usually like, I, I mean D can be upgraded, but usually I get rid of all my Ds. So we're gonna do all this, look at this, watch this. This is about to be a lot of Zenny. This is all from just doing, just playing a game and events. How much we got? 428,000, 424,000 Zenny. Bam, easy peasy, right? That's a good way to get Zenny. The other way, like I said, is to do the Super Zenny event, or finally, just play the game. So if you go into PvP, if you do a ratings match, whether win or lose, you get three tickets. You get three Zemon Adventure tickets. If you use a boost characters, which you'll see up here in a couple seconds, just for having that character in the actual battle, I believe it counts also if it's on your team, but I'm not really sure, I don't remember. You get four tickets. So again, whether win or lose, you get these tickets. What do you do with these? Well, simple, you just go into Zemon, or you go to Adventure Mode in the top left corner, and you just let them do their thing. You let them rock. That's it. Every three hours, reset that. So again, whether you win or lose, you can literally go into a match and just give up and you get tickets. Every three hours, keep them running. So since I play the game a lot, I always have my uh, notification go off every three hours and I just re-up my tickets and bam, that's how I get my souls up at the top. Getting your souls is probably the most annoying aspects of the game, but if you've been actively playing and you actively play, this is not a problem. I mean, I have yet to drop below. I mean, this is the lowest I've ever been. My uh, level three rising souls for the purple col color. It's kind of low, but yesterday it was at zero. So I got 1800 within like a day. So again, all you gotta do is just play that and that's it. Now here is the annoying aspect of it. This is the part where I can get kind of gross. And that's the training material. Because right now, this is the fastest way to level up. But this is, un unfortunately, is locked behind a paywall. Now I will let you know that I did let the team know. I sent the feedback saying that they didn't need to make this more available for every player. Because it's, it's kind of unfair. They basically reward you those uh, those silver bells by doing multi summons on the master pack banner, which I don't recommend you to do. So no matter what, every time you summon on this, you get ten of these, which are great for maxing out a unit. But again, this banner kind of sucks right now. And maybe if they upgrade to master pack two and have the same reward, it might be more viable. But for now, I don't recommend it. But again, I did tell the team that they need to like make this more obtainable in game. So maybe they might have it farmable at some point. So fingers crossed. I mean, I did notice actually in the Christmas login bonus, I believe on day three they had silver bells as an option. I don't know how many, but we are going to get some through daily login. So I guess also login it helps. So what do you do after you have all the souls and all the zenny? Well, simple. You just pick out your characters and you just let them train. Now, good news is my Bardock is going to be done here in three minutes. But if you notice, I'm not using the silver bells. So right now, uh, recently this past week, they, it, it, they released a brand new mode called Legends Road. And if you go into Exchange Shop and go up here in the top one, you'll notice what you add is uh, Roasted Fish. Now, the Rosa's Fish, you just obtain from uh, Silver Metal. So, just do the Silver Metals, which you can obtain by going into uh, Stage 2. By the way, a lot of people were like, I can't do Legends Road. It's too hard for me. No, you don't have to do the harder aspects of it. All you have to do, literally, is just do Battle 2. That's it. You do Battle 2, you get uh, the Silver Coins, and then you can buy the fish. Why the fish, though? Well, like I said, if you go into Training over here, so let's just do, let's do one of these and grab... Let's do a lower level. Let's do Trunks. This gets you a lot of XP. This is for, off of 1. Now, unfortunately, you can't stack them to 10. So in 15 minute increments, you get from like basically level one to about 
uh, 1500 in about, I want to say, an hour-ish. Because, like, once you get to 1,000, going from level 1,000 to, uh, um, I, th I think, 3 will take you from level 1,000 to, like, 1,100. So it gets a lot slower. So usually what I do is, is I just use the higher-level training material and then just call it a day. Or if I really want to, you know, max down that day, that day I'll just use the roasted, roasted fish a couple times uh, over the course of that time. But look at this. Like, start training. Look at that. One, and in about 15 minutes, bam. Look at my boy Trunks. He's going to be ready to fight. Well, not yet because we have to get into 1,500 first. So that's, it. that's all it comes down to is just you literally have to be on top of your game with PvP. I know a lot of people aren't like really into PvP. You kind of have to be like a fan of the competitive side of a game like this. Uh, and most people, well, I don't say most people, but a lot of people just only play this game for the PvE stuff. But again, you don't have to win. Win or lose, you can hop in and just disconnect. Not that I recommend that or you know advise it. But if you really don't want to play, just hop in and out and then you get the tickets. And then all you got to do is just stay on top of your adventures and you're good to go. So that's all that, all that it comes down to. Oh, one last thing. Because people always ask me, well, how do you get, uh, how do you get specific like medals and stuff? Well, not medals, but orbs. So let's pick out. Where's chilled? I think chilled. I don't have maxed out yet. Uh, there you are. I think. Uh, yeah. So if I do this, notice how it says I need two of these. So if I do how to get, I can literally be taken to the mission where you get these. But something else you can do. Again, if you're playing PvP or just actually playing the game, because they give these medals out fairly frequently in the game. In the exchange shop, if you really need like those uh, extra two or three or four super souls, you can just get it from the shop. So in this case, we need two uh, purple souls for Lord Chills, which are right here. Bam. 40 each. Bam. And we're good to go. Now, all I got to do is hop into... Going back over here. Menu. Characters. All I got to do is hop into Lord Chills stuff again. Chill, where are you? Where are you? There you are. And look at that. My boy's maxed. Well, he's not maxed. Oh, I, I'm an idiot. I have to first finish for train. I have to wait for training to finish first, and then I can do that. But you, you get the point. It's like I, I can get to the next burst really, really easy that way. So, yeah, is Bardock ready to go? Because that'd be great to finish the video off with 50 seconds. But yeah. So that's all there is to it. Again, it is kind of annoying to grind in here, but I do want to point out that a lot of people don't realize of how much uh, change there was in the grinding system in the game specifically. Don't sleep on these either because you can stack. To stack them to 10 previously you can only do like one and three but 10 is a lot like look at this we can get my boy chill from 300 to 600 in three hours unfortunately i'm gonna have to wait three hours which kind of sucks hopefully they fix that in the future and make it a lot less time because let's be real when you get a new unit all you want to do is be able to just jump right into pvp and have them units maxed out without having to like wait hours and hours and hours but it shouldn't take days it shouldn't take days unless you just literally have no orbs in which case just do the adventures and then you should, you should get the orbs that way you can do the casual side of pvp and you get the weaker ones, but I don't recommend it. There's really no point. Just do rating matches and call it a day. So right now, we're going to end the video by having Bardock level up here. And then we'll toss him back in. Like I said, if they let us stack the roasted fish to 10, it'll be a lot easier. And hopefully, they do end up doing that. And also make the roasted fish more available for characters in the future. Or obtainable in, in the game outside of just like a Legends Road. Ah, it's close. So, so 758 to 889 is going to get me close. And then after that, I should be easily be able to hit um, 1,000 with that character. But yeah, that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions in regards to uh, the training in Dragon Ball Legends and the fastest way to do it, just feel free to tweet me at RhymeStyle. I guess the question I'll toss out there for you guys is, um, of all the characters in the game that you have right now at hand, who are you going to train first and why? Let me know down below. But other than that, like I said, that's the, be that's the best way to do it. Unfortunately, like I said, it sucks that the Silver Bells are locked behind PvP walls. And, you know, we as a community did send feedback to them several times now to make this more available. So like I said, we'll see how that changes in the near future. But... Like, it shouldn't take five days. So, yeah. Anyway, so hopefully that was helpful. If it was, feel free to slap a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts on who you're going to level up first. And if you have any other questions, you can either tweet me at RhymeStyle or just drop me a comment down below. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. My name is RhymeStyle. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.